Hey champs, Pulse Rifle with you, and today we're going to do a deep dive-ish on uh, on Rob the Robot and how he functions for Gyromite. When I did my last video, I kind of skipped ahead on how this was all supposed to work. So I'm going to take this one real slow and show you guys not only how it works, but uh, I'm also going to do game B of Gyromite uh, just to give you the, you know, the, the sort of the experience you should have had uh, had you grown up with one of these and tried it for about five minutes. So uh, right now I have the Rob and the that little charger back there, uh, the gyro spinner. Uh, those are powered on and it interfaces with this uh, genuine Nintendo controller that, as you can see here, it is actually connected to the Mister via the snack cable, it's, uh, or snack device. That is the serial native accessory uh, uh, connector, and get a little close-up shot of it. You see that right there, that guy. That's the that's the back end of it. It's not showing anything pretty, of course. So let me. Just turn it over. There you go. That's our buddy. And that's how we're able to connect a legitimate Nintendo controller and have it interface with Rob. So, the way that this worked, for those of you who remember having played the Rob and how slow it is, you probably just yanked this out and hit A for the blue and B for the red, and that was all she wrote. <clears throat> well, as you can see here, that's how A was pressed, and B was pressed. But how do you keep these down? That is a job of the gyro. So, show you how that works, just a moment. So, oh, uh, one other thing. These claws are removable because uh, Rob was designed to be uh, modular. Uh, however, almost nobody owned uh, Stack Up, and almost nobody owns this guy in working shape anymore. People just kind of have him around as the doll, but he's, um, he's a fun little guy. So I'm going to show you how he works. So, first up, you see a little red light on his head is not lit up, and that's because he is not, has not yet been tested. So, I'm going to... Test him up. Hit test. Okay. Now the moment I hit select, you'll see this turn red. Like that. Okay. So I am going to switch this over to direct. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you real close up how I am directing this little guy to pick up gyros and have them go on to the buttons. There we go. So uh, just first up, um, so that you're not missing anything, and you probably saw this in the last video, but if I uh, do open or close or right, left, down, or up, uh, you actually see that message in uh, text. So just like that. So you're not missing anything. It's going to say the same stuff it did before. So instead, I'm just going to show you how this works with my 8-bit do controller. Here we go. So now we're going to go down. Down once more. Okay, now we want to close it. So it's locked in. He's got got the gyro in his pits, in his mitts rather. I'm gonna bring that up. We're gonna actually bring this up two more times. The last time there's just a slight nudge. You'll see this, watch. Just a little bit, just a little bit. But that little nudge lets him pass over the other gyro without connecting. So it clears it just by, just by that little bit. So now I'm gonna move that over. <clears throat> to the spinner. Yeah. I'm out of, <laughs> I'm in the way. I gotta not 
Clear that. Oh, okay. All right, so. For those of you who played Smash Brothers with Rob, you may recognize what I'm about to do. Listen to that motor go. Move to the right. I'm gonna bring that down. Bring it down once more. I'm going to release. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna grab this dude. Like I said, once more, even though we get to the top. Okay. And now, we're gonna go over that gyro. Just barely clears it. And bring that down. Charging it up. Okay. One score. Okay. And now, just clears it, right? All right, gonna bring this down. And just for fun, I'm gonna drop it. Then I can move back over to the to the B. Go back down. And let's close it. Steadied it, right? And bring that back up. Okay, I'm gonna move that over. Oh, snap. See, I didn't go up far enough. So I'm gonna move to the right. Up one more. Now I'll bring it over. Be charged. I don't need to do that second nudge because I'm not going over the top. Just bring this down. And I'm going to drop it. And both buttons are depressed. So that is how the rod works for gyromite. So that's why when you started seeing these tops fall and things kind of not working in the game, um, this this is how it works. This is it. And um, yeah. Now I'm gonna show this to you in action with Gyromite in game B. Time for some game B, like I said. Here we go. So the first thing I want to do is charge the spinner. Alright, so it's charged. Let's lift it up. And through, lift it, and then we're going to move this over to the left, we're going to drop it down, we're going to lift it back up, 
Nope, 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 nope. Ding. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna open that. Nope, that's closed. We wanna open up his, his claws. Gonna cheat slightly. Uh huh. Okay, we're gonna close up. Now we're good. Okay. Bring it up. And then we're going to move that over to the blue. Down. This one's more of a leisurely game uh, as opposed to uh, the, the other game, which is much more intensive. Yes, Tim. Okay. And... Don't have... That one going. So while we're... While we're chilling, let's go ahead and get this just a little more charged up. Ah, so... This one's fun, so we are going to... Move this over. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one charged. Because it will come up. that up every time. Alright, so we're gonna lift it up. Let's close up. And lift. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and lower. Go ahead and release. Ah. Nope. I already blew it. He's gonna die. Here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna wait for that smick to walk down. There you go. And he's dead. Okay. So now... I'm gonna require 
require some dexterity, but we're going to lower. Alright, and then we're going to lift it. And then we're going to move over. We're going to lower. And I'm going to replace that gyro in case we need it. Okay, so now it's asking us to move that red. So I'm going to go ahead and take my time here and I'm going to recharge. doesn't break on us while we're trying, right? Okay, so. Lift it up. We're gonna move it over to the red. We're gonna lower once. And then once more, we'll drop it. Alright, now, I'm gonna raise up. I'm gonna move over to the blue. I'm going to give the screen a chance to advance a little bit before I get in trouble. Ah, see? Wasn't meant to hit the blue. We want that red arrow. Excellent. him climb all the way to the top, but we want to go ahead and lower the blue. Seems like it's running a little out of juice, so we're gonna go ahead and recharge it. No more. Oh. There we go. <laughs> For whatever reason, it was uh, off. Okay. Raising it up. Moving it over to the blue and down. Once more. Every time the screen flashes that little green color, um, that is the transmission that's telling Rob what to do. All right, so we're going to wait until he gets yeah that's the stuff all right let's see if we oh oh yeah we, we want to bring that down about that. Yeah! Nice job, Rob. Okay. So here... 
want to keep the blue up. But we're going to probably want to move the, the red down. So let's get ready to do that. So, should give him enough time, yep. Just in the nick of time. Let's re recharge that top. Okay, so he could go either way on this one. I'm going to send him the lower way. Because I feel like being different. It's the stuff. And let's charge him up. It's a nice little rhythm. didn't go fast enough.
So this is going to be a fun little challenge. Because it wants me to have both of these down. So. Let's do it. I'm going to actually drop the first one. I'm going to bring this down. We're going to spin this one up. This is where it gets strategery. <laughs> I like it. Alright, now I can clear it. gonna end up killing him. That's okay. So I actually was not meant to have both of them out. That was my mistake. This will kill him. And that's okay. So we gotta keep it to one gyro, everybody. That was my mistake. Oh, wait a minute. No, that wasn't a mistake. I just was not fast enough. So... Definitely wants to, so I'm gonna give it to him. strategy that I just thought of. Still going to require both on, but... over first and we're gonna drop now I'm gonna move up down 
close. Up. Up. Once more. Moment he collects the arrow. That's it. Get it! <laughs> and we get to phase 14. Round 14. Okay. Drop it once more. Down on B. We're gonna, gonna raise up. Oh, so this is fun. So, they're uh, they're telling me that I can just auto-kill this smick. So I'm gonna do it. Oh. Okay, maybe not. may be wrong, but I might be able to do this without actually charging this guy. We'll see. Because if we just leave him still, he should still be able to depress the button.
Yay! So this is going to require some timing. Not much, but enough. see it play out. Yay! Thank you. 
messed up. I should have left it down, but I couldn't see that far ahead. And that's the end of the game. Thank you very much for watching. This was the Pulse Rifle Plays. The Pulse Rifle Explains. Rob.